In the heart of an African kingdom, there lived a noble king and queen whose love knew no bounds. Despite their happiness, there was a lingering sadness in their hearts, a longing for a male heir to carry on the royal lineage. For years, the queen bore only daughters, each more beautiful than the last, but the absence of a son weighed heavily upon them. Fearing that the king would take another wife to secure a male heir, the queen sought solace in the depths of the forest, where whispers of magic and mystery awaited. Guided by desperation and hope, the queen found herself standing before the ancient witch, a guardian of secrets and keeper of the unknown. With a heavy heart, she poured out her tale of longing and sorrow, hoping for a glimmer of guidance. The witch, with eyes that seemed to pierce the soul, consulted her oracles and saw a path forward. With a solemn nod, she handed the queen a small vial of ointment, its contents shimmering in the dim light. Apply this upon your body whenever you lie with the king, the witch instructed, her voice a melodic whisper. In eighteen years' time, I shall come to collect what is owed. The queen accepted the ointment without question, her heart filled with newfound hope. She returned to the palace, the weight of the witch's words heavy upon her mind. That evening, as the king returned home to a sumptuous feast prepared by the queen, she retreated to her chambers, the vial clutched tightly in her hand. With trembling fingers, she applied the ointment to her skin, whispering prayers for a miracle. As night fell, and the king joined her in their chambers, the queen's heart raced with anticipation. With each tender touch, she felt the weight of their hopes and dreams pressing upon her. Months passed, and the queen's belly swelled with new life. The king, fearful yet hopeful, stood by her side, his love unwavering as they awaited the arrival of their child. And then, on a night bathed in moonlight and magic, the queen gave birth to a baby boy. His cry echoed through the palace halls, a triumphant herald of new beginnings and long-awaited blessings. The king's heart soared with joy as he held his son in his arms, tears of gratitude streaming down his face. And as he looked into the eyes of his newborn heir, he knew that their journey was far from over, but with love, faith, and the promise of a brighter tomorrow, they would face whatever challenges lay ahead together as a family united in love and purpose. But as the years passed, their happiness turned to sorrow when they realised that their son was not growing as other children did. Concerned for his well-being, the king consulted with the chief physician, hoping for answers to ease his troubled heart. With a heavy heart, the chief physician revealed the truth. The prince was a dwarf, his growth stunted by a mysterious affliction. Shock and shame coursed through the king's veins, his pride wounded by the thought of his son's condition. In a fit of rage and desperation, the king ordered the execution of the chief physician, unable to bear the weight of his own shame. He then decreed that the prince must remain hidden away within the palace walls, never to set foot outside for fear of what the public might say. Alone and isolated, the dwarf prince grew up in the shadows of the palace, his days filled with loneliness and longing. Despite his father's orders, he yearned for companionship, reaching out to anyone who would listen, only to be met with scorn and rejection. As the prince's 18th birthday approached, a dark shadow loomed over the kingdom once more. The witch who had aided the queen years ago returned, demanding payment for her services, a payment that could only be made with the prince's life. Heartbroken and desperate, the queen begged the witch for an alternative, a way to save her beloved son from his cruel fate. And with a voice as cold as ice, the witch revealed the only solution, a true love's kiss from a virgin. Determined to save her son, the queen dispatched the palace guards to find virgins willing to marry the prince. But as the days passed, it became clear that many were drawn to the prince's wealth and status rather than his heart. Faced with the prospect of sacrificing her son to save him, the queen devised a plan to test the sincerity of the prospective brides. She set a competition among them, challenging them to prove their love and devotion to her son. As the virgins vied for the prince's affection, the queen watched with a heavy heart, praying that true love would prevail and her son would be spared from his cruel fate. 
for in the end, she knew that only the purest of hearts could break the curse that bound him.